So I am Hans van Sol, and I'm a scientist here at the Mac Lab. And I brought today a bicycle wheel for show and tell. The idea about the bicycle wheel is, is that I'm not only a scientist, I'm also a cyclist. So it's kind of symbolic for me as well as, uh, as something that made me interested in, in science. So if you, if you spin the wheel and you can kind of hold it on one end, then the wheel will stay kind of in the same position. There will actually be a slight torque. You'll see that it moves sideways, which is actually also a, a, an effect of the gravity working on the wheel. But it's, uh, it's a very puzzling thing because it, normally you would expect it to just fall down to the floor. And for me, the science is then it's a question of solving this puzzle. Why is this so? And understanding... Uh, but why the wheel is not falling to the floor, in a sense, and how you can use this. So in this case, this is kind of an angular momentum, uh, but these kind of things play a role on the small scale and the quantum scale of molecules and atoms, and that is kind of the subject of what I'm looking for at the moment. But you kind of spin your wheel around, and you feel that there are forces on this wheel when, when it's spinning, which are kind of unusual. Uh, as a kid, I was kind of intrigued of why this, why this was, why you have these funny forces. And you can kind of see that if you, if you spin the wheel and try to hold it and change the position, you'll see it resists against the changing of the position. There is, uh, there is a lot of real-world applications. By understanding something like this, you can start understanding a lot of other kind of complicated things. So, uh, so in this sense, physics and science, it gives you kind of a way of to solve the puzzle of nature and what is around you and why materials behave like they do behave and uh, and how you can use it then in devices and things like that. This solving the puzzle is really kind of a fascinating aspect which I work with kind of every day in, uh, in, in my work as a scientist here. And this is one of the things that why I went into science, just to try to understand the world around you and uh, perhaps improve it also a little bit.